Ever since the Air Jordan 1 Chicago dropped, there's been a ton of speculation and a ton of rumors out there that there was going to be a restock on the Nike sneakers app. Some of the rumors included either right before or even on the same day as the Cherry 11s, which I didn't really think that that was going to happen. Then there was some rumors that it was going to happen right before Christmas or even right after Christmas. So with a sneaker being this sought after, a sneaker that people are still talking about over a month later after its release, still trying to pick them up, a lot of us are wondering, is this actually going to restock? Now, I don't have any concrete inside information or anything like that when it comes to a possible restock for the Air Jordan 1 Chicago Lost and Founds. It's just like how I feel about the sneaker, what I think might possibly happen with it, just based on history and stuff like that. And I hope I'm wrong when I say this because I do hope that this sneaker restocks for you guys because I know a lot of you guys still have yet to secure a pair and really, really want this. But guys, I think it's a wrap especially for the men's pairs. I don't think that these are gonna be restocking on the Nike sneakers app. You may see like some grade school pairs, like restock, maybe like a sneakers pass or something like that, maybe. Those have been heavily rumored to happen as well. But when it comes to the men's pairs, I just don't see it happening. Now I know because the release was so bad, a lot of you guys kind of feel like Nike owes it to us to give us like another release of these. But I just don't see it happening, guys. I think it's a complete wrap for the men's pairs. Like, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong because I know a lot of you guys really want this sneaker. Uh, the prices on them are just going up pretty much daily. Like right now, I mean, they're going for close to 500 bucks or even, you know, over $500 in like the higher sizes and stuff like that. Uh, after it dropped, like this was like around like a $400 shoe and a month later, it's already up like a hundred bucks and I think it's gonna keep going up. This is probably gonna be, you know, an $800 over a thousand dollar sneaker in the near future. And um, right now, you know, I know you guys don't want to hear it and I know it sucks, but if you really want to get this sneaker, you know, you might be best served to just go pay resale for it. If you really, really want to get it, um, just because the prices on Chicago's always go up crazy amounts of money. Just look at any Chicago out there, you know, even like the mids or, you know what I mean? Older, you know, Jordan one Chicago's like they are over a thousand dollars. So the longer you wait, the more you're going to pay, in my personal opinion, just because I do not think that these are going to restock. Now, Nike has really like no incentive to drop more pairs for one. Uh, as you've seen with the first release, like you see how that went. Why would they put themselves through that again? And then with Mole Gate and, you know, all the refunds that they had to give out because, you know, some of the sneakers were damaged and stuff like that. You know, Nike doesn't want that headache again. Plus, as much as they talk about, you know, kind of curving the resale market and stuff like that, hype is a good thing for Nike. You know what I mean? The next time they drop Chicago's in the future, you know what I mean? Like it's gonna be pandemonium once again and it's good for, you know, Jordan brand, it's good for Nike. Now, if these were to restock, it would happen in January in my personal opinion, if they were, which I don't think they are, but if they were, it would be in January, just because January is the slowest month. You know what I mean? So if they wanted some extra sales to start off the first quarter, restocking these would be a no brainer. It's not gonna happen in February because there's a ton of sneakers coming out. It's all-star weekend and stuff like that. So I don't see February. And then March, they're dropping the Air Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagined. So they're not gonna kind of take away from that release because that's another hype release as well. So if it doesn't happen in January, guys, it's 100% officially a wrap. And who knows you know, where the prices are gonna lie for these by that point. But hey, this is just my personal opinion, guys. I hope that this helps some of you guys. Um, but, you know, I just don't see it happening. But other than that, that's what I have for you guys today. I'll catch you all in the next video. I love you. Peace. For more sneaker content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.